Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming, and welcome back to the Caves of Kud, where we made the decision to bring Rare Moth Harriman, the Basil Boy, along with us for the ride. It cost us around 400 of our reputation with the Mechanimists, but as we were sitting at well over 1,200, I didn't think that was a big problem. He's covered in strange tubes and weird artifacts, and he can fly. So... I didn't really see any negatives to him coming along with us, unless somehow he happens to be rocking some form of grenade or rifle or launcher that's going to obliterate us, which is entirely possible, but we'll find out now. Um, we've discovered some forgotten ruins. We're going to have a little bit of an explore around. There may be nothing interesting that comes of it. Who knows? We'll, get, we'll cross that bridge as we come upon it. We can't get through that, so... Let's, um, not attempt to, I guess. Let's see if we can use Stunning Force upon him. We can. What else could we possibly do? What's the state of play of you? Right. Um, I'm, I'm guessing we can't throw a turret at him. Uh, throw a... a, a, a bleh. At his... What grenades have we got? An EMP one. Let's equip that. And lob it at the twat. It ain't working out, boys, is it? It ain't working out. So... Shit happens. Apparently, the rest of the boys are too clever to go in there. So, a millennium after the goat's death, apparently. So, let's wander around. Let's explore places we have yet to explore. Hopefully, my guys have got the intellect, the foresight to stay out of that, ro that room with the, the gun. I'm not going to hold my breath on that because so far, they don't seem to be showing that level of, uh, of foresight. Nobody touch that, please. I don't wish for that to cause us more problems. Fractured microchips. Delicious. If one of you wakes the slumbering in the slumbering. I sense some hostility from the glow moth, apparently. Oh. We got it. Okay. That was a surprise. Someone keeps getting knocked prone, and I don't know why. Maybe there is some slime leaking from somebody. Oh, this guy is going to preach to us the entire journey now, I guess. Some spiked steel gauntlets. We don't need those. We don't need steel longswords. Um, is this our buddy? Let's dominate him oh he resists my dominant i cannot dominate him oh yeah he is a follower he is not overwhelmed by my significant powers of the mind he merely likes me enough that he wants to follow me which i guess is is better than we can say for a lot of our friends i don't know that they would even refer to themselves as friends the tantalum danip that's not what we were looking for, is it? No, we were looking for the Habal Cone. So we'll carry on exploring the Danip, whatever that might be. You've wedged me in a force field, you dunce. What's going to be down here? Just slugs and worms slugs and worms some books i'll take that my entire world is built on books i don't know how to cure lovesick i don't know what effect it has upon us it's not something i've um i've encountered very much i haven't forced myself to fall in love with myself 
Maybe I need to clone myself and then that will fix it. If there's two of me, maybe the love can be shared. Mm, there doesn't seem to be a lot going on here. The Tantalum Danip. Oh! No, we're going to leave him in there. He seems to be fine, trapped in that little uh, force field there. If someone wants to take him on once he is freed, I'm not going to object too much. But other than that, we're golden. There was nothing here with which one should give too much worry about. Okay. Let us venture over to the east somewhat. We need to go up another uh, screen before we're on the correct Parasang pathing. So we can go up two more, I think. And that puts us... I just took a, lum a luminous horse room that I had not intended to take. I'm going to have a, a, a quick little peek. Nothing there. How about down? Anything down? The Habal Cone. I'm adamant that we've come through this square at some point. But I don't know how we could have not. I don't know how we could have not. Let's clean all of our gear. <clears throat> oh, shit. We haven't got any water. We do. We have a little bit of water. We're going to need to head back to the stilt relatively soon then, I guess. And um, see if we can't sell off some of the uh, acquisitions we've made upon our journey. Get it. Hi. Thanks for dying very easily. It's just what I was looking for. Thank you. We're finding a lot of shielded enemies and I don't know if they're doing it to themselves. <clears throat> or if one of us is causing it. Did we pick up the metal folding chair? I also don't know why my um my gear is now specifically closed every time I look at it. That'll be something that I've cocked up though, so I'll have to deal with it. We need to get... Excuse me, mate. We need to get in here. Would you mind dropping your shield, please? Um, let's use our disintegration. It's going to hurt. There we go. Man's busted a hole in the wall. The shrine to Udok, the wife of Atapaz... Payatzal. Hot lactatrice. In 2393 BR, Udokt assassinated the Sultan of Kud over an ordinance prohibiting the practice of determining outcomes by chance. She won and took the crown. She was 120 years old. Riveting. Um, are we struggling with being tarred? We are. Let's... Uh... Let's make an effort to rectify that. Bagger Wolf. Give me more water. Oh, we're still tarred. I, and I don't know how to fix that. Never mind. I'm sure it will come off eventually. Always does, yeah. Tari the Habal Cone. This guy is not having any of it, is he? Um, he ref he doth refuse to let anyone in. Never mind. Oh well, we found what we were looking for, and it was not, it seems, worth finding. 
Who is it who keeps getting knocked prone? Somebody is just tumbling over all the time. Never mind. Probably something to do with one of his abilities. It doth give him flight. Unless he's all slimy or something. No. Maybe something to do with his sandals. Right, what's next on the uh, the list? Oh, return to Shaywan. Let's do that. Let's just go to Shaywan to hand in this quest. You'd think that one would remember where Shaywan was. Is it here? It is. So let's go to Shaywan. Stopping along the way to gather our surroundings. <laughs> Good. Thanks very much. Um. Oh, it would be nice if we could remember who the person we had the quest is. It's been so long since we've been here. Hello, is it you? It's almost certainly not you, right? Um, meals to Jean. I do like that. Down here. No. A village of friendly Ascari. This is the way. Hello. No, it's not you. Speak to choose near the sun. Oh, hang on. Is it you? No. Is it you up here, sir? Is it you? Hello, I've located the pile cone. You have our thanks. Our village owes you a debt. Please choose a reward from our stockpile as payment for your services. Um, a book of knights of the sage uh, of the sorry knights of the stage as many it, the sash of his reign, Wisterwart's eccentricities, his eyes and sweat glistens, volume eight and unnaturally twisted fly associated with defects volume three that's a couple of books or several books well, we can take a bio scanning bracelet i can't remember what we're currently wearing a bio scanning bracelet would be good in that it would tell us who we got to kill let's take these books i like books i like books very very much unfortunately though that means that we no longer have a specific quest to partake upon um we could go to the mapango settlement in the tomb of the eaters or we could wander aimlessly around some ruins i mean it's a wild suggestion but we could certainly give it a go um at the moment we, we've got a, f a full quota of boys We do, however, need to grab a quick drop of water. So I'm going to take a moment to trade in some goods. Maybe get some hot and spiny down you. Well, after a pinch of theft, petty theft, and a little bit of um, literacy, we've uh, fired off a couple of levels up, not just for ourselves, but also for our followers. So let's have a quick look what we can do here. My goodness, we've got 13 mutation points. He really has had a good time. He's had a good time. Let's buy him a new couple, uh, at least one new mutation. mutation. Triple jointed. Um, yeah. Everything else is a bit shit. So let's give him triple jointed. What else can we do? Beguiling multiple legs. Let's do that. Um, and then we'll level them both up. Excellent. And then he can have another couple of attribute points, I guess. Let's give him... Increased toughness. Yeah. And... Oh, his willpower is already fucking... He's, this guy's pretty badass. He's definitely stronger than I am. Um, 
We could probably learn a little bit from him, to be honest. Let's give him en garde. And then let's give him some... short blade attacks that penetrate. Yeah. Jab. Um, when you wield a short blade in your offhand. Yes. Primary hand, he doesn't have that. Once per turn... When an opponent misses with a melee attack, there's a chance you make a free attack. Yeah? Shank. You make a melee attack with a short blade in your primary hand or offhand. Yeah. So how about acrobatic? Let's get you some acrobatics. Sprying? Yeah. What else could you possibly benefit from? Sprinting isn't going to be good for you, mate. Dual wielding is probably what we should have spent a significant amount of our points on there. There we go. He has leveled it up. End his domination. And then let's have a look at what the other boys have got going on. You, lad, have you a wig? We can't dominate your mind because you're far too robust for that. How about you? You've got a couple of mutation points and a significant number of skill points so let's also throw Ooh. you however do not have much in the way of attributes for this god you're not even as strong as our um ashari warrior are you that's disappointing sir i i, I genuinely i thought better of you but clearly that was wasted your dual wielding long blades we'll hold on to your points for a while sir you may you may yet come in use you may yet come in use end this domination let us now travel f across the desert and the mountains um to the ruins let's go and um fuck shit up for a moment let's see what we can see what we can get here oh we've skipped one let's go in here we pass by some ruins so all we're really hoping for here is you know a little bit of an adventure to top off our day oh so far oh i was gonna say nothing of excitement but clearly that's not the case let's whip ourselves up a recipe of for increasing our health as frequently as we possibly can. Something made me stop there, but I don't know what it was. Perhaps our friend tripped over again. How are we doing with our... Has everything got as much as it needs to have? Okay. Let's go. I hope this is actually a deep ruins that we can explore because otherwise it's a moderately wasteful wasteful expedition. Got a lot of shotgun shells for someone who's never going to be using a shotgun. Shame, shame. We could consider... Oh, we actually have leveled up ourselves, haven't we? Still not quite got the attribute points we want. Um, what do we need? We're still looking for that. Yes, let's do that. Let's let's uh, start investing in these rifle skills. Suppressive fire. So we can already mark a target. We can suppress. We can wound. We can sure fire. Hmm. Marking a target is sufficient, I guess. For each penetration on each shot that hits, your target bleeds one point of damage per round. Then your target is unmarked. Surefire. That guarantees a hit. So let's take that and let's take wound and fire as well. I'm not going to take suppressive for the moment. Because it's just not... <coughs> Oh. 
fuck you. Thanks very much, sir. He came out of nowhere and hit me very hard in the face. I was I was shocked more than anything. I was shocked. Oh, what is this? Is it a nice bow? No, it's just a standard compound bow, which I guess is nice. If you don't already have the fa the, the power of a god, such as we. Oh, no thank you, cats. No thank you. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys would leave this slumbling alone. Get the chem cell. Where's that? Is that coming from over here? It's dead. Whatever it is. A shrine to Gilaram. Waist deep in the lake of platinum, Gilaram cemented his friendship with electricians by marrying Macha. Or Mach. Whatever floats your boat there. Thank you very much, guys. We're inspired. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go over here if we cook now, right? If we cook now. Yes, take me to the fire. Oh, we've located some forgotten ruins, which is always good. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to cook with some ingredients. Let's have a look. Hmm. I think maybe we're not really going to achieve what we want here, are we? Let's go for some freeze dried horse rooms. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. Some boar jerky goes into my meal. Ah, let's just go with the chiefs as well. I don't... It's not great. It's not what I wanted. First thing at half rate, plus 300 reputation with fungi. When you drop below 20 HP, you're immune to fungal spores. When you drink water, there's a 25% chance you're immune to fungal spores. Let's go with that then. That works. I don't know if it works, but it works for me right now. At this moment, it works. And I will hear no more about it. Thank you very much. If this could also resist being far too deep, you know, I do have other matters to attend to other than just stumbling around blindly in a cave. Who on earth is teleporting around all over the place? We have picked up a weird artifact. Let's have a quick look at that. Some form of rifle, a laser rifle. Nice. And we had something else there as well. Some form of a metered chem cell. Nice. Could you break your barrier down, please, boys? I think... Oh. That this cave isn't going to be quite as deep as we might have hoped it would be. Is that it? We're carrying too much to move. What is the small box that we've picked up? A portable wall. Excellent. A laser pistol with a thermodynamic cell. Uh, we will replace the cell. Which we'll remove. And then we're going to disassemble the laser pistol. Because we don't need it. Now, portable wall. 
not one that I've encountered. Um, do we need to pop it up? Tiny glyphs are inscribed on each exterior face of the handheld box, though contrarians still puzzle over their meaning. Most of Kud's prominent linguist cults have converged on a single in interpretation. But when both nature and architects have failed you, one brass ring, uh, pull ring separates you from the promise of those words. I don't know that we need it right now. Let's hand it off to this gentleman here. I have a gift for you. Here, take this. Look after it. Please don't, please don't activate it. That would annoy me greatly. We also seem to have uh, been hunkered down by our laser, so we'll disassemble that as well. Replace the cell. Remove the cell. Disassemble the laser a mangled corpse and a steel shield lovely 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 i think uh, what have we now picked up some form of cudgel the prayer rod merely a cudgel yes uh we'll remove the cell we will disassemble the rod. And I think that might be it. And I think that might be all the ability we have to get rid of stuff. Oh, as much as I like not dying of poison, what does our shield do that we are currently not rece re receiving from it? The Inquisitive Shield of a Car. Plus one intelligence and our ability to block with shields has increased. Okay. Let's pick an arm. Let's pop it on our right arm. There we go. Um, we're carrying around a lot of shit that we don't need, aren't we? It might be time to sack it off. We can't disassemble that. A reprogrammable recoiler. A grit gate recoiler. Ezra recoiler. Jopper recoiler. We've got a lot of recoilers. Um, Here, sir. Will you take some more goods from me? Give items. Take these gloves. Take this grown mantle. We're burdened. It's a lot of cells, really, is the problem, I guess. We could. Uh, we could break down some of them. We probably don't need to be carrying quite so many cells. Let's do that. Not great, but there you go. Stuff happens, doesn't it? There we go. There's there's the passageway that we were missing. That's what we needed. I'd like to disassemble this. Can we disassemble HE missiles? Yes, we can. What are these? We have found a leafy vest, a folded carbide wrist blade, a painted shield. Shields only grant their AV when you successfully block an attack. In 5150BR, Polypo won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Suruk at the bloody Battle of Turnip. It says Turnip, but there you go. Though she lost her prized triumph of meteorite during the course of the conflict. As a result of the battle, Turnip was so devastated by smouldering stardust that it was named Luminous Baron. And a folded carbide wrist blade. Interesting. Interesting. Um, 
I don't know how useful any of this is for us. If we can, uh, yeah, we can give some of it to our, um, our associates, of course. You is who I'm looking at at the moment. So take the boots, take the leafy vest. Um, and I think we'll give you some shields. And we, we actually we've got a significant amount of my goodness. All these copper nuggets are unnecessary. Get them sold as soon as we can. I don't want to be stuck. Thanks very much. It's not high on my list of things to do today. What over here is spitting fire upon me? Nothing worth note. Hi, how are you? He has nothing to trade. Well, the glow white is dead. I'll just wait for this to clear out. Oh, these shit, honestly, boys, these shields, not a fan, not a fan. You don't need to make your your initial reaction to any minor inconvenience, putting up barriers between us. I mean, where do we go from there, really? Oh, this little dude f threw some sort of artifact. What was it? A geomagnetic disk. Ions spun onto the ethereal disk. Ions spun into a, th a euhedral disk on a spinning wheel crystallizer. Aquamarine smoothed into a wheel by deep sea steam vents. Where does that go? On our throne. Let's replace the cell in it. Um, I'm well aware that it doesn't belong to me, but maybe this geezer can stop lobbing it around. I don't know what died then. I don't know what died. I just know it wasn't me and uh, that in itself. Victory. Marked. Chopper. <coughs> Zip zap zop. <coughs> Okay, let's um, explore through. I don't wish to encounter a gyro humor, if I'm completely honest. Not my favorite pastime, the encountering of gyro humors. <laughs> Menacing stare, menacing stare, run away. He becomes afraid. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die to a crab in a ruins. Come on, Brian Wick. <gasps> oh my goodness, we lost our interdimensional friend. <laughs> what? 
What did you do? What did you bloody do? That is a shame. We lost our ugly, sluggy friend. He's very dead. He's very dead. Oh, we've got some scary boys out here. Come on, drop the barrier, guys, please. We just had to bloody come down here, didn't we? I liked that ugly dude. I liked him. Bloody ruined it, exploring ruins is. I guess it's not just a catchy name then, is it? The ruins. Oh, fuck off with the hostiles. All this hostility. Um, I do need to cook, so... Preserve that food. Anything exotic that we should preserve? Yeah, not that I care about. Um, recipe then. Let's go for our bog standard. Oh, we don't have a lot of bear jerky left. Not a lot at all. Let's go out fighting some bears then, don't we? Rest up, please. Let's get through this. Drop your barrier. Thank you. An amethyst plated chromeling figurine. Wow. Let's get that. Let's get that. A steel potter's knife. A fullerite short sword. Nice. What are you rocking? You've got full right long sword and an electrified steel utility knife. I think you could probably benefit from this, my friend. Here, take this short blade. Not that I probably couldn't also benefit from it, but, you know, maybe we didn't pick it up. We didn't pick it up. Therein was the problem. getting himself into the troubles. Mm, okay. There is more stairwells to go down. On some capacitors. Right. Where is he? Hmm. We've got a lot of junk on us now, haven't we? Crystal dagger. I do like that, though. I do like my morphogenetic bronze dagger. Crystal, four penetration, 11 damage, right? And then this. Well, there you go. Decision made, really. Uh, let's drop it on the floor, and then maybe this lad will pick it up. There we go. He picked it up. He picked it up. He has an attribute point and some mutation points. Where are we going to spend this attribute point? Let's pump that agility up. We all benefit from that. End the domination. We're still carrying too much to move. 
it's because we picked up that little figurine, wasn't it? I'm really sad that our friend died. So I will not fuss too much about it. For if I do, I will surely not want to go on. We've got another laser rifle that we've picked up. Therein lies the problem. Disassemble it. Now do your wanderings. If you could refrain from picking up every discarded laser rifle you find, our days will go somewhat quicker. I think our ruins are just going to extend potentially indefinitely at this point. Um, we don't want to venture so far that we start to freeze and start to die, so... Let's take it steady. Oh wow, that, that gas uh, ate through that sandstone quite quickly, didn't it? Hopefully, we may well have reached the depths. The deepest depths that we can achieve here. Though I don't think we have. Um, thanks. You. Yeah, cheers, drop that. I'd very much like to find some treasure now. Just a, a lovely bit of treasure to have made this all worthwhile. And then we'll say goodbye to this here ruins. And we will move forward with our day amicably. Thank you very much. Let me out of this. I am trapped. <laughs> I don't know whose force field this is, boys, but could you drop it, please? It'll be disintegrated then, isn't it? Cool. A glow white died. I think that's it. There doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go. <laughs> Another floor. Well, I don't think that there seems to be anywhere else that at this point that I'm willing to venture. Um, I mean, we've come deep. We've lost a friend. If you could release the shield, whoever put it up. I think it would be brave of us, yeah, incredibly brave of us to turn tail and run away at this point. For it is the bravest of men who run away from the slightest hint of danger, is it not? Who have we got here? The protector of the stilt. He's got some steel boots and a carbide shield. Marvellous. What else has he got going on? Not a lot exciting. Maybe there'll be other exciting people down here, though. <laughs> Apparently not. Is the answer to that. Apparently not. Mark him. Oh. 
Surefire. Just die, please. Please die. Please do a die. Oh, I'm having great difficulty letting go of these ruins. Apparently. I don't know what I'm hoping to discover beyond here. Look, we're, we're pretty much overburdened. We're... Yeah, we're at the end of this little journey, I believe. And quite frankly, I can't I can't carry on. I just don't have the time. I've been Arsenic Candy Gaming. You've been bloody marvellous as always. Don't forget like, comment and subscribe and all that other wonderful stuff. We're going to return to Joppa, sell some goods off, contemplate what we do uh, to follow up on the loss of our strongest associate. And we'll catch you on the next episode of The Caves of Kun. You take care now. Goodbye.